Hello everyone, today I'm cooking up this 100% full blood Wagyu skirt steak from Lone Mountain Wagyu with a nice basil chimichurri sauce. It's a gorgeous cut of meat, tons of marbling. The chimichurri, start with a couple of cloves of garlic, about a tablespoon of salt, and a little bit of olive oil. Chopped it up nice and fine. And then I'm going to add a full bunch of organic basil, organic cilantro, and a generous amount of organic thyme. Add a little more salt and olive oil, blend it up till you get the consistency that you want. Sous vide is generally my preferred method for making steaks, but for whatever reason with skirt steak, I have found consistently better results with cooking the skirt steak two minutes each side on a ripping hot skillet indoors. Here I'm just seasoning it with a little bit of salt and rubbing it with a little bit of avocado oil. going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to slice it up. Now the way you slice a skirt steak is very very important. If you slice it the wrong way you have a piece of meat that's as tough as chewing on rubber bands. You slice it right and it's super tender and juicy. What you have to do is cut it into these smaller pieces and then slice it on a bias against the grain. And that's the key point. You have to cut it against the grain. Cutting it at an angle or on a bias helps with the tenderness as well. You cut it with the grain and it's literally like chewing on rubber bands. Now this is my first experience with Lone Mountain Wagyu or any American Wagyu for that matter. Uh, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. For the money you certainly are getting a lot. Now this doesn't stand up to the A5 grade Japanese Wagyu I've had in the past, uh, but the price difference is also huge. And again, I'd say for the money, you are getting quite a lot. It's uh, antibiotic, growth hormone free, humanely raised, all that. Uh, it is 
very well marbled, very beefy, very 